up y'all um today we're gonna go through the r&b rap oh sorry about that an r&b rap template that i usually go by so let's get it started uh the first step you know get your new tracks up here um go six audio tracks to start First one, we have the rap vocal. Next one, rap double. Third one, your ad libs. And then the rest are just there, just in case. We never know what the situation can bring up, especially because it's new artists you never worked with before. So we go with that. Now we pull this back up. Aux tracks usually go two and then one stereo master. Oops, sorry, two and then one. So we can make these, um, you can hide these for now just in case. We don't really need them, so hide those. Now we have our delay. We have our verb. Oh, sorry about that. Command down. And you have your master. Cool. So we got everything set up. We got everything ready to go. Um, as far as color coding and naming, always make sure your sessions are set up correctly. Um, you can easily navigate through them, easily see what everything is. So going from there, I'm using a lot of Waves plugins. Um, you can get the same result with Avid plugins. It's just over time you gradually get more and more plugins and this is the way I do it. So we set up, oh, I forgot to add um, a track for the instrumental, usually an artist will give you just an instrumental and then it's up to you to figure all that. So let's change this color to purple. Cool. All right, so we go back in, get our seven man EQ. I usually bring down around 2K. Just bring it down because that's usually where the vocal sits. Oh, you want to bring it down just a tad for the instrumental. It's about all I do for the instrumental. Let's move to the rap vocal. I leave it pretty open depending if it's a male, female, and then I adjust as I go. Um, rap double, I usually just option drag, get the same result. Once again, like, like I said before, nothing right now until you start working with the artist you begin to develop um, you know a relationship and you can easily navigate that way um same thing with the ad lib just bring it down option and click and drag it's in all right so let's move to sends i usually um Bust this and bust this. And then I send it over here. You get our bus. So we can name that our delay. Oops, spelled that wrong. Let me fix that. And then option drag and then we do the same thing for our verb so we pull up our bus um, option click brings it back to zero right click rename name it verb option click drags it down and then the same thing for the ad libs but we don't necessarily need that right now all right so now that we have that all set up it is time to pick a delay. So when I pick my delay, I usually go waves and I do H delay. It's one of my favorite delays. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. 
And they have a great preset in here, and it's called Rap Vox, so Rap Vocals. Now it'll adjust to your beats per minute in beats per minute in your Pro Tools session, so you have to adjust to that. But one thing, I usually keep everything the same, Just change it very, not very much, but my wet dry is what I really, really, really deal with. Um, I tend to bring it down between 15 and 20, depending on the vocal, the rap style, the R&B singing style. If it's singing, I tend to bring it up a lot more. So um, yeah, we'll keep it, right now it's at 20, so we'll keep it there. Um, then we have the verb. When I'm dealing with my reverb, I usually go R verb. It's one of my favorite um, reverbs. And again, the presets are great because they give you a foundation and then you can easily move around. Bedroom is one of my favorite. And then we'll bring down the wet dry. And then you can obviously adjust as you go. And then when it comes to the master, we. Um, add EQ on top of that. I like to make sure everything's sitting well. Always command save. Um, the next one I pull up is called Vitamin. It's um, by Waves as well. And um, there's a mastering. I usually go mastering three. It just brings the whole vocal up and present in the mix but it also brings up a lot of the percussion elements that you hear so that's definitely one of my favorite but I tend to you know go through just to make sure that that's the best one so we got that and then lastly we add the limiter waves limiter and you adjust the threshold in the ceiling I usually put around 0.9 I know that's not the standard but that's just what I go by um, I tend to find that I have the best results when I put it at these two settings so it's pretty straightforward pretty easy I mean you have to adjust as you go but overall it's not very much that goes into it um, when you're getting strictly just the instrumental if you get all the musical elements, that changes the whole game and you have a lot more to work with. You can begin to, you know, make your stereo image with the different music elements that you get. Um, but when you're getting just the instrumental, this is the usual template that I use. Um, yeah, pretty basic, nothing much to it. Um, if you have any questions, put them in the comments, like, subscribe. Uh, thanks a lot for tuning in and yo.